Hello Year 9 and hello to your parents and carers. My name is Miss Hunt and I'm subject leader of art at Worthing High School. Mr Whitaker and I both teach art GCSE. We are really proud of the achievements of our students making art. Year 10 and 11 work incredibly hard and they get great results. This year, 86% of Year 11 were on or above their target grades and 40% of Year 11 achieved a Grade 7 or above with an increase in grades at Grade 8 and Grade 9. The reason I love art is such a fantastic way to communicate visually and to express yourself. We live in a visual world and it's great to have ideas to make a response to what's happening around us. It's fun using materials and being tactile. Hands-on making is very satisfying, especially in a world where there are so many screens. It's very magical to start with a blank page or a block of clay and transform them into a painting or a model or a sculpture. Talking to my year 10 and 11, they love their subject choices because they have a balance of written essay subjects as well as a practical emphasis that they really, really appreciate. So now how the course is structured. 60% of it is coursework and everything you do in art from day one goes towards your final mark. So that's everything in year 10 and 11. We do two main projects. One is very skills and technique led um, and has a good foundation. It's a sea life project and it has sea life imagery and we do lots of clay work. The second is a more independent, more portrait based project and you use a sketchbook and a wide choice of themes and artists to choose from. So much more independent um, and much more individual in terms of the, the work that you produce. So the other 40% is a choice of themes the exam board sends us in, a, in the last term of year 11. So this ends up being like um, a short project rather than something that you'd go into the exam hall under exam conditions like an exam paper. You do the final piece for that project, um, for the exam piece, in the art room over two days, five hours each day with lunch and breaks. But you know and you'll be prepared in advance and you'll know what that final piece is going to be and students actually really enjoy it. Career and higher education choices. You can go on to do Art A-level or BTEC courses. You could do things like photography, textiles, printmaking, ceramics after doing um, an art GCSE. So art college might be your route. Or you might want to have some sort of career in film or theatre or costume or props. Or computer related. So software, apps, computer games have creative people behind the scenes designing it all. With websites and Instagram, artists can be successful at selling their work without the need of a gallery. Age doesn't have to be on your side. So you could be um, just leaving school and you might have some lovely artwork and if somebody wants to buy it um, and you've got a website, then that's something that you might want to do. I believe art makes you happy. It's great for your health and well-being. And whether you choose a creative pathway ahead or want to just enjoy art in your own time, this is the option for you.